Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday, April the 1st, 2016. And no, this video is not an April Fool's Day joke, but it is another video in my series of videos looking at the nonsense, which is Flat Earth. Now we're looking at a Flat Earth map. This is one of the most common maps that is used by the Flat Earth believers. They tell me that there is no official Flat Earth map. But, as I say, this one is the most commonly used one by Flat Earth Believers. You'll often see it in their posts, in their videos, and even used as their avatars on YouTube. So I'm going to use this Flat Earth map, and the Flat Earth Believers tell me that the Earth is approximately 25,000 miles in diameter. Now apparently this is based on the circumference of the globe Earth, which is approximately 24,900 miles in circumference. Now we can see this orange circle that is marked over the map, and this orange circle follows the equatorial circle that corresponds with the equator on the normal globe Earth map. Now the flat Earth believers agree and acknowledge that this circle is the path that the sun takes at the equinox in March and September of each year. So we're going to use this map to check some distances involving the sun and its path. And remembering that the map is 25,000 miles across from edge to edge. So it is 12,500 miles from edge to centre. Or it is 6,250 miles from the centre to the equatorial circle or the equatorial circle out to the outer edge. So we can use multiples of these figures to look at uh, what's going on with the Sun. Now obviously the Sun would be the furthest away from you if it was on the opposite side of the flat Earth disk, wouldn't it? So if we were standing, say, right here, and the Sun was on the other side of the disk, it would be at its furthest possible point away from us. Now I'm told by Flat Earth believers that the Sun is at a height of 3,000 miles. They say that the Sun's disk is 32 miles in diameter. Now there is some disagreement about these figures within the Flat Earth community because they say, well, nobody really knows. But let's go with the figure of 3,000 miles high, which is the figure that is most often quoted. It doesn't really matter about the size of the Flat Earth sun. All that matters here is the height that we're talking about and the diameter of the flat earth being 25,000 miles in diameter. Now I've prepared the scale diagram showing the width of the flat earth disk at 25,000 miles and the height of the flat earth sun at 3,000 miles on the right. You can see that I've divided the distance into halves and quarters so halfway we've got 12,500 miles, and in between we've got 6,250 miles on the right, and 17,750 miles on the left. You can see the various angles at those points to the sun at 3,000 miles high. So if we are 6,250 miles from the sun, the angle to the Sun will be approximately 25.7 degrees. If we are 12,500 miles from the flat Earth Sun, the angle to the Sun is approximately 13.5 degrees. So let's import this onto our flat Earth map and see how it compares. Now remember that the distance from edge to edge across our flat Earth disk is 25,000 miles and the distance across our orange circle, which represents the equatorial circle, is 12,500 miles. So I'm going to zoom in on this, and then we're going to adjust this so that we've got our 12,500 miles just across the equatorial circle. Now, I'm locking the aspect, so I'm not changing the, um, the ratio of the size uh, as I drag this and in any case the angles are written here as we saw before. And I can go back to the original diagram that we were looking at for reference. We'll just zoom in on that so we can see that more clearly. So we've got 
25.7 degrees almost there at 6,250 miles and 13.5 degrees at 12,500 miles. As you can see we've got our 12,500 mile mark here on the left hand side of the equatorial circle and we've got our zero point where our sun is at 3,000 miles is directly above the right hand side of the circle. So if we were positioned here and we were looking at across the disk of the flat earth to the sun over here then we would see that the sun's angle at that time would be 13.5 degrees which begs the question how does the sun ever set on a flat disk earth? At half the width of the 25,000 mile wide flat earth disk then the angle to the sun is 13.5 degrees it would never be at zero degrees on the horizon it would never be below 13.5 degrees at that distance. Even if we were standing on the very edge of the ice wall around the outside of the flat earth disk and the sun was right over on the other side of the flat earth disk above the ice wall 25,000 miles away then the sun would be at an angle of 6.84 degrees. So how is it that we ever see the sun down on the horizon how is it that we ever see the sun disappearing over the horizon? Because according to the math, this should be impossible with a sun 3,000 miles high on a flat earth disk that is 25,000 miles across. The problem for flat earth believers is that they never do the math. It is like they are allergic to math. They have an adverse reaction when you start talking about math. But the math don't lie, and unfortunately for the flat earth believers, a sunset on a flat earth is impossible. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.